Welcome to this webcast from IAC as an introduction to the IAC QI tool for quality improvement. I'm Craig Fleischman, Medical Director of Non-Invasive Cardiac Imaging at Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children in Orlando and a member of the Board of Directors of the IAC ECHO. Quality improvement is at the core of IAC's mission of improving healthcare through accreditation. Quality improvement in healthcare can be defined in several ways. One is systematic and continuous actions that lead to measurable improvement in healthcare services. Another is systematic approach that uses specific techniques to improve processes and quality. Or it can be thought of as combined and unceasing efforts to make the changes that will lead to better patient outcomes or health, better system performance or care, and better professional development. IAC's strategic initiative is to continuously improve the accreditation methods with meaningful and measurable steps towards improvement in diagnostic imaging and ongoing and continuous quality improvement. As part of this effort, standardization of QI has been implemented across every division. Up until now, Divisions had very different QI requirements. There were variation between divisions in what was required and the frequency of measurement. There was a lack of prescribed quality thresholds and inconsistent documentation across divisions. All of this led to underutilization of QI for purposes of improvement. IAC's QI implementation started with a QI committee that was formed with representation from each diagnostic imaging division, including vascular, echocardiography, nuclear PET, MRI, and CT. There was a development of consistent QI standards for all diagnostic imaging divisions, and as part of this, a development of a QI self-assessment tool. The focus of the QI committee was to streamline the QI management for facility personnel and as part of that, to offer a tool for case study and report self-assessment and documentation, to integrate this tool or feature into the online account portal, to develop sample documents and educational webinars and resources to best utilize this tool, and most importantly, provide added value to facilities, including the ability to track internal progress, analyze trends, benchmark performance, and provide feedback to facilities. The IAC QI tool is designed to encourage facilities to think critically about their work quality and identify opportunities for improvement, to improve the quality of facilities' case studies and reports through continuous self-assessment and QI documentation, to provide facilities with an easy-to-use mechanism to engage in QI, and to standardize the review process based on randomly selected cases. The QI tool is designed to provide standardization of QI across all imaging divisions, to provide a way for facilities to compare their performance against their own facility and against their peers over time, and to satisfy other facility QI initiatives that may be in place, such as staff education, MOC, PQRS. The quality measures that are part of the new QI standards are listed here starting with test appropriateness or appropriate use, technical quality, interpretive quality, final report completeness and timeliness, and an optional measure determined by each division. This may be correlation with other modalities or safety-related measures such as radiation safety. You will now see a demonstration of the QI tool. Hello, I'm Jeremy Kempner, Project Coordinator for the IAC, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the Quality Improvement Self-Assessment Tool available on the online accreditation portal. During this presentation, we're going to go over a couple of things. First, we're going to cover how to create QI users, which are a new type of user for the online accreditation portal. We're going to go over how to complete the self-assessment process, and we'll take a look at how to manage an assessment from an admin user point of view and how to complete case reviews, which is something admin users and QI users will do. 
And finally, we'll take a look at the Quality Improvement Self-Assessment Analysis Report, which is a report you get after completing each self-assessment. So let's take a look at QI users. First of all, what is a QI user? A QI user is a new type of user that can be added to your online accreditation account that have very limited QI-specific access to the portal. So if you have staff members that you'd like to involve in the QI process, but you don't want to give them full access to your account, you might want to consider making them a QI user. QI users, when they log into the portal, are only able to perform quality improvement case reviews. So that's the only access they have to your account. They can't make any accounting changes. They can't make any updates to your staff. Nothing like that, just quality improvement case reviews. And these QI users can be created from existing staff members already in your account, or you can create them as new users. So let's take a look at how to do that. In order to create a brand new QI user from scratch, and this is someone that you don't have listed as a staff member already, you're going to want to navigate to the Manage Users tab and click the Add New User button. When you do that, it'll open up the User Details page, and you're going to want to go ahead and enter the user details for this new user. It's very important that every user of the system has a unique email address that actually belongs to the user. When you create this new user, they're going to be emailed at that address asking them to verify their account. So make sure that it is a unique email address that actually belongs to the person that you're creating the user for. Also, under the User Roles section, click QI Facility Reviewer to designate them in that role. Then click the Save My Work button. You can see that when we return to the Manage Users page, the user that we created is now listed as a QI user. If you have an existing staff member in your account but you want to transition to a QI user, it's quite simple. Navigate to the Manage Staff page and click Edit for the staff member you'd like to become a QI user. This will reveal the details of that staff member, just like the user. Much like for the Create New User, make sure that they have a unique email address that actually belongs to them, as they will also be asked to verify their email address. Once you've made sure that they have a unique email address, save your work and return to the Manage Staff page. Once you've done that, click QI User for the user you'd like to transition. And as you can see, they're now listed as a QI user. If you were to go to the Manage Users tab, you would see this new role reflected there as well. So now that we've gone over how to create QI users, let's take a look at the self-assessment process. So what is an assessment? An assessment is a collection of cases in varying te uh, various testing areas within a modality. An assessment must contain at least one case, but can contain any number of cases. So for the example we're going to use in this demonstration, we're going to be starting an adult echo assessment, and we'll have three cases, two stress and one transthoracic. After we set up our cases, we're going to assign staff members within our facility to review each case. Each case must be assigned to at least one staff member to review, but case reviews can be assigned to any number of staff members. This is the Quality Improvement tab, and this is where we're going to create our assessment. So once you've navigated to the QI tab, you'll notice on the left-hand side, it lists all the modalities that your facility is accredited in or applied in. We've selected Adult Echo for this demonstration. To create a new assessment, click the Create New Assessment button, and that creates a new assessment just below. The first step in a new assessment is to create a case log. So we're going to click the Enter button to create a case log for this assessment. This reveals a form where you can enter cases to be included in your assessment. For each case that you'd like to include in your assessment, enter the appropriate details. For this, you need to enter patient name, the date the examination was performed, the type of case, who interpreted it, and who performed the examination. Additionally, you may include an identifying information note. This is an optional field that is used to differentiate between cases in your assessment. For example, if you had a patient who had two exams or more on the same day and you wanted to include both of those case reviews in your assessment, this is a way for you to differentiate them. Once you've entered all of the cases to be included on the assessment, click the Start QI Process button. This will take you to the Assigned Staff form. And as you can see, this one says Assign Staff 1 of 3. Since our assessment contains three cases, we'll have to make assignments three times, one for each case. So on this form, you will click the Assign button for the staff members who'd like to review the case. You can use the Previous Case and Next Case buttons to navigate between the cases. Reviewers that you've assigned will receive an email notifying them that they have work to complete. Once you've assigned your staff members to complete the case reviews, you have a couple of options. As the administrator, you can manage your assessment. 
do that, click the Manage Assessment button. This will bring up a form that displays all of the cases within your review, and it will show who is assigned to review them. You can use the Replace, Remove, and Add New Staff Member buttons to make changes to your assignments. Now that we've set up an assessment, we're going to take a look at how to actually complete the case reviews. Even though you're an admin to the account, you may have assigned yourself to review cases, or you may have been assigned by another admin user in your facility to review cases. In order to review any cases assigned to you, navigate back to the Quality Improvement tab and click the Review My Cases button to launch your reviewer dashboard. This is the reviewer dashboard, and it displays all cases that have been assigned to you to review. It should be noted that your QI users in your account, when they go to review their cases, they'll land directly here. Before beginning a case review, locate the appropriate images and reports for the case, as you will need these to complete the case review. To review a case, click the Begin button. When reviewing a case, you'll be presented with a series of multiple choice questions regarding the quality of the examination performed. Questions are grouped by quality improvement measures such as test appropriateness and technical quality review. Once you've answered all of the questions about a case, you'll be asked to submit your responses and your case review is complete. Once all cases in an assessment have been reviewed by all of the assigned reviewers, you may return to the Quality Improvement tab and click the View button for an assessment to view the Quality Improvement Self-Assessment Analysis Report. You will also be notified by an email when the report is ready to view. Let's take a look at a sample of a Quality Improvement Self-Assessment Analysis. For each case within the assessment, the report shows a breakdown of responses to each question and scores each question based on these responses. Each case in the assessment is scored in terms of quality and level of agreement among staff members who reviewed the case. Thank you, Jeremy. In conclusion then, the new IAC QI tool is available for use. For additional information, visit the IAC website at www.intersocietal.org. Or as always, you can contact IAC divisions directly with your questions, or you can use online help at online-app-help at intersocietal.org. Thank you very much.